Dear listeners and music students interested in learning to read the notes, how are you in your part of the world today? This is a quick video about learning to read the notes for the left hand. So that would be notes below middle C. A great deal about music is looking at a symbol, now I'm about to get technical, on a staff with lines and spaces. I'm going to end this video right there because the truth is teaching notation is going to be a real challenge for me. Meanwhile, have a great weekend. I'm recommending this great movie with Sigourney Weaver who takes a job counting gorillas. It's all about the numbers, dear friends. Let's do it. Left hand bass clef. Same three notes. Same Yamaha settings. Let's go. Middle C, B and A. My former students thought you might enjoy seeing what life was like in the classroom with fifth graders learning to write newspaper stories. That's what we did for four weeks. And now back to the music. Thank you for watching. Let's begin at the beginning, shall we? The Trouble Clef. The musical alphabet consists of just seven letters. In order to read music, we must be able to find these notes on the staff. The staff is a system of five lines and four spaces telling you which notes to play. The symbol to the left is called the clef. We'll start with the treble clef and it tells you what each line and space means kind of like the key to a map. All right. We've spent a great deal of time, dear friends, on music for the right hand. Right hand only. Treble clef. This is day two or lesson two about learning to read notes in the bass clef. The piano or keyboard uses two clefs. We have already learned the treble clef. Now we will learn the bass clef. The left hand will pay, play the bass clef. Let's take a look at this second lesson. Three notes. That's, that's what we're learning this week. A, B, and middle C on the left hand. A, 
D. I can't help myself. <laughs> okay, so that was a chord. Dear friends, together we are going to master this instrument. Have a great weekend.